Yes, people, what is going on? I hope you are all good. Today, we are reacting to the first game of the NFL season. One that we didn't know if it was going to start. We didn't know if it was going to happen, but it has. And, of course, it starts in the same way that the last season finished with the Kansas City Chiefs win. They win today 34-20, to 20, a 14-point difference. But, to be honest, it could have been, and it probably should have been, a hell of a lot more. It was a very solid performance from Kansas City today. It was very, what I will say, was professional. Um, partially down to Houston, which I'll come on to in a moment. And we'll run through the scores very quickly. But it was more Kansas City's game to lose and it was to Houston's game to try and win, if that makes sense. Let's try and go through the scores here very quickly. David Johnson actually put the Houston Texans 7-0 seven, uh, seven up very early doors. And then it was pretty much Chiefs from there. I mean, I think they scored 31 unanswered points. Uh, Kelsey Watkins of the field goal. Uh, Edwards Allaire got one. Tariq Hill. Uh, it was just one-way traffic. Absolute one-way traffic. Um, and then they come back into the game with uh, Atkins. And Watson runs one in at the end as well. <sighs> Was it what I expected? Yeah, pretty much it was what I expected. Um, but what I did not expect was I did not expect such a quality performance from Clyde Edwards-Alaire as well. Um, clearly talented, definitely, we all know this. He was the first running back taken in the draft um, at the 32 spot, which, I mean, they've kind of become devalued in the last few years. Um, so it was a bit of a strange one to see, obviously, how that would go and how it would work. I didn't think he'd have as good as a game as he possibly could, but maybe that's because he goes they go so far ahead so early on. Um, it, it was very much, it was very clear intentions from the uh, Kansas City Chiefs that when they got into a reasonable area, they were going to put the ball in his hands. Just get some runs, get reps, learn the game, uh, which I really, really did rate. Obviously, he's a first-round pick, so you kind of a lot of the time you're thinking, just get in there, you want to get straight on the ball, bang, 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 bang. It's a little bit different because obviously this... The Kansas City team's full of track stars and full of, you know, absolutely superhuman freaks when it comes to speed. And then you throw him into the mix as well. But it all come from there was some really good offensive line play. Um, <laughs> there was some very good and very bad offensive line play, um, which didn't mean he got he got hit at times. Yeah, fine. Um, but he rushed for over 100 yards. He got a touchdown, possibly, probably, no, not even possibly, probably should have had two. Um, it was just a very all-round well experienced game for him shall we say you know there was highs there was lows there's definitely more upsides though which is obviously a positive um but i mean he got swallowed up a couple of times on the goal line um he took some hits but again regardless he was very very good patrick mahomes today wasn't exactly the best i've ever seen him but he didn't have to be um it was a new kind of look for the way for him uh, i unfortunately took him quite early doors in my fantasy draft so uh slightly regretting that now but there we are we move forward and um, what else did i have in my notes i had yeah the texans were average missed the andre hopkins um no pre-season i think what they were trying to do make does, does make sense you can see what they were trying to do but i mean it was passes behind the likes of Kenny Stills and Fuller and, and people like that. They're just two that spring to my mind instantly. There were some good plays and some good offense that they were trying to run, but it just, you need a bit more fluidity with it. So, uh, yeah, it, it was an okay game. Um, JJ Watt was back. He looked fantastic. Um, I was really glad to see him back in the team and uh, looked really aggressive and really pumped up, which was really good to see because, I mean, Obviously, when you get these NFL huge, huge stars, you want to see them out playing the best football you possibly can. And unfortunately, in the last few years, JJ Watt hasn't. Um, not for obviously fought with his own, but it's just one of those things that happens. So it is good to see him back. Um, but they've got a terrible, a terrible, terrible start. Kansas City, Baltimore. Uh, I think they got a Minnesota, and I can't remember the other one is as well. It's four horrible games to start off with. Um, to so to see them show signs was good, um, but I mean, they've got a long way to go. I'm a Dolphins fan, so I'm really happy because it means we're going to get their first, we get their first uh, round pick next year anyway. Um, so the more they lose, the higher the value of the pick is. So um, I'm quite happy. But yeah, this has just made some reaction um, to the game. It was a decent game overall, to be fair. Um, it was made a hell of a lot more interesting, but Deshaun Watson threw the pick and it was kind of game over from there. The real intensity kind of got sucked out of it, but still a decent way to get the NFL back underway. Thank you very much for watching. If you are new around here, please do make sure you subscribe as we go through the whole way through this NFL season um, in a very strange and crazy time. Please do subscribe to this channel. And yeah, we'll go from here. Thanks for watching. Take care, stay safe. And uh, NFL's back. Thank God.